What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be talking about a carrot cupcake flavored tea and the Waterman Charleston fountain pen. So this carrot cupcake tea is a rooibos tea from David's Tea um, and it is part of their fall lineup. Um, I'm not sure how much longer they'll have it. Probably they'll stop selling them um, closer to December when they bring out their uh, Christmas season teas. Um, but this one says, you know what never fails to remind us of fall? A carrot cupcake and this sweet creamy blend of carrot, ginger, and warming cinnamon does just that. The ingredients are apple, carrot, cinnamon, rooibos, cocoa shells, ginger, li uh, licorice root, natural whipped cream, and apple flavoring. Um, and speaking of that apple flavoring, <laughs> this tea should not be called carrot cupcake. I don't get a carrot flavor really at all. Um, and even when you smell the tea, I don't smell carrot cupcake either. This literally tastes like apples and cinnamon to me, which isn't bad. And it smells like apple and cinnamon too. Um, and not, like I said, not that that's a bad thing. I've pretty much gone through this, <laughs> this whole bag. Um, not that that's a bad thing. I enjoy apples and cinnamon. Just don't tell me it's carrot cupcake and then give me apples and cinnamon. <laughs> um, you basically, you're gonna take about a teaspoon of this, you know, full boil from your kettle, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna steep it for about 47 minutes. I go more, I go towards seven on this, to be honest, because it is a rooibos tea, and I find that, um, they need to be steeped longer. Um, and speaking of that it's a rooibos tea, this one is one of the few rooibos teas that I actually like. Um, 99% of the time I do not like rooibos teas, because I don't like the rooibos tea leaf flavor, um, and most of the time I can pick that up regardless of what I'm drinking. I do get this, I uh, do get that here, but um, that apple and cinnamon really takes over everything, in my opinion. Um, so I actually like it. Um, I don't know if I would buy a huge amount of it. Um, this was a 25 gram bag because I got it as a part of a set with all the other um, fall teas. Um, I don't think I would buy like a full 50 or, or more uh, as far as grams go. Um, only because I'm not a giant fan of rooibos, so it's not one that I go to every time. So this 25 gram one will last me a while, um, but I would recommend it. It's actually quite tasty if you like apples and cinnamon. Um, if you are looking to pick it up, um, I would get it relatively soon. Um, again, because they're probably going to discontinue the fall line once the Christmas line comes out or the holiday line comes out. <laughs> um, but you're going to be looking at uh, just shy of $8 for 50 grams worth of tea. Um, which isn't too bad, um, but yeah, I like it. And I was not expecting to like that at all because like I said, I'm not really a huge fan of rooibos, but I did and I like it. I'm glad I got it. Um, and another thing that I'm really glad that I got a chance to try <laughs> is the Waterman Charleston fountain pen. Now I have the uh, Hemisphere and I also have the uh, Karen, Karine, however you want to pronounce it. Um, this is similar writing experience to the Kareen, um, but of course in a different body. Um, once again, this pen was borrowed. All the links um, to the original owner are in the description below. Um, but let's get a, a kind of quicker, quicker, closer view. And as always, I'll have an overview uh, a little bit later uh, with a better camera. So the finial of the pen, you're gonna have that Waterman logo there. Uh, that famous W, um, as well as the clip. Waterman is really famous for cutting the clip in half <laughs> um, and having a slit down it. Um, perfect tension though. I really like the functionality of the clip. Coming further down into the body, you're gonna have the uh, Waterman center band that's literally in the center of the pen. Um, again, I'll get you a closer look because you're not gonna be able to see it here, but the it says Waterman and then it says France, but the Waterman wording literally reminds me of Star Wars wording. <laughs> These I'm not a huge fan of, only because crap gets stuck in it. <laughs> um, so you're gonna have to clean those out. Um, otherwise you're gonna get like, just build up of stuff over time, get stuck in it. Um, then coming down towards the end of the barrel, it's completely black uh, with a little silver ring there, but it's not a piston knob, it's just, decorative. Um, unscrew the cap, 
to reveal the grip section and relatively small nib. Um, there are some threads here. You can feel them, but they're really not that bad. Um, the grip section is large enough where my thumb will hit the threads, but it's more like the back padded part of my thumb. It's not like right up here by my nail, so I don't feel it too, too much. I wish the grip section was a little bit wider. Um, Waterman has a tendency to keep their grip sections narrow. Um, I prefer wider grip sections, um, but that's just, again, a personal, personal taste. You can unscrew the body here to reveal the cartridge converter. Um, you cannot eyedropper this because of the metal threads here, um, but it does come with the converter for you. Um, and then you just screw that back down, and then you're good to go. As far as holding it, um, it's really well balanced to me. It fits nicely in my hand. Um, it's light. It is just a plastic um, plastic pen, and you know the nib obviously is teeny, so it's not like that it adds a whole lot of weight. It's pretty well balanced. Um, if I had to say, I would say it's slightly back weighted, um, but you're not really going to notice that writing. Um, if you post it, it posts very, very securely, posts very deeply. Um, it becomes quite back heavy to me at that point. Um, but again, if you had larger hands, um, that would be more balanced uh, for you. And I'm always really sensitive when I post my pens because I generally never post my pens. As soon as I do, it's just like all the weight just seems to immediately go to the back. Uh, but to me, I like to use it not posted. Um, that's the most comfortable. Um, the nib itself writes really well. Um, I just wish it was a little, little bit bigger. Um, but you do get the typical Waterman W again um, that just says 18 karat Paris. That's about it. Plain and simple. Um, it's a relatively simple design other than that uh, one band. Um, but again, most of Waterman's, you can get some really fancy ones. Most of Waterman's are on the uh, more subdued side uh, as far as design goes. Uh, but I like the design. I think it's classy. I think it's one that will stand the test of time, like the Kareen. Um, so I like it. I like the general shape of the body. Um, I like the center band being here. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the little divots that are here, but I like the center band. It just, I don't know, it's a nice identifier. And the nib is a broad nib. It writes a little too broad for me, um, but I generally prefer mediums to like a wet fine. So if you like a really broad writer, um, definitely get the broad nib. Um, but other than the fact that the grip section is a little bit too narrow and the nib does seem a little small for the body, um, I really like the pen, and it is one that I would recommend. Um, Price-wise, uh, United States, you're looking at about $192. Um, Canada, I've seen it anywhere from $248 down to $219. Um, I've, the prices are kind of all over the place for this pen. Um, depending on the finish you get, the most common one is the black finish. Um, but there's a blue finish, there's a yellow finish, there's a bunch of ones that I've seen. But this is another one of those pens where depending on the retailer that's selling it, um, the price varies. Um, and that is kind of annoying, but also kind of great because if you're willing to put in time and effort, um, you can really find a good deal on this one. Um, and given a good deal, I would recommend picking this up for sure. Uh, but let's jump into the writing sample so I can show you a little bit more of what this guy will do. Okay, so we have a broad uh, gold nib here from Waterman, um, and the ink for today is Waterman Tender Purple, um, and of course the Waterman Charleston. Um, as far as line variation goes, mm, not really any. You can you can get a teensy little bit, but nothing really to speak of. Uh, reverse writing. You definitely can. Um, it's going to be slightly scratchy writing like this, but you can definitely go from a broad to like a fine here. Um, you can probably hear it. It's a little bit scratchy, but really not too bad. 
um, especially since you won't be writing like that all the time. Uh, when you have the nib just like in its regular like orientation, it's very, very smooth. Um, pretty much all Waterman's that I've ever used have been smooth, both, uh, both gold and steel counterpoint parts. Wow, English. Um, as far as wetness goes, it's definitely a wet pen, um, and I like that. Um, it's not like a crazy gusher, it's a controlled wet. Um, and also partially due to that, um, you know, when it comes to skipping or hard starting, I've never had skips except for when I apparently want to lift my pen from the paper. Um, I have had the occasional hard start with this. Um, if it stays uncapped for too long, it will have a hard start. And by too long, I mean probably about 45 seconds to a minute. Um, then it may have a hard start, especially on slick paper like this Claire Fontaine. Um, occasionally I will have some hard starting. Um, but for the most part, it's really, really nice. Um, I would like it if the nib was a little bit bigger. Um, just because, you know, the bigger the better in my opinion. Um, but really, I can't complain with the way that this writes. Um, so would I recommend it? Yeah, for sure. Um, if I were to buy this pen, I wouldn't get broad. I would maybe get, uh, you know, fine or medium. But I definitely like it, and I, I would recommend it to anybody. Um, the only thing, like I said earlier, is that you'd have to make sure that this stays clean here inside these little grooves because it does tend to get dirty sometimes. Um, but guys, that's about it for me today. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't yet done, all, done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, new videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Tuesday. Um, and this way you won't miss anything. Uh, and also don't be afraid of the comment section below. Uh, I read everything that gets posted and I try and answer them as soon as I can as well. Uh, so guys, as always, I will see you next time. Bye.